All right, empty room, or in this case, you know, the internet. Here's a question for you. Would you agree that the government had access to the internet before the public sphere, before you and I were given the internet? More specifically, DARPA had access to the internets, the numerous versions of the internet, the many rungs, well before you and I were spoon-fed the fucking internet. The reason I'm asking you this is <laughs> technology, you know, quote-unquote technology that our masters have plucked out of somewhere based on something that most people have not figured out. But back to point, <laughs> they, have, they have access to these things long before you and I do. So I want you to think in terms of drones for a second. How old do you think drones are? And what can you do with a drone? What are the numerous things you can do with a fucking drone? Think about the many applications of a drone. And how you could augment a drone. How you could add accessories, other features, to a fucking drone. Now I want you to think about UFOs and lights in the fucking sky. And how far back this dates and blah blah blah. And whether or not it just might, you know, have the hand of man in there. It might be man-made shit. I just want you to think about that. Now here, here's something you'll find online. This guy wrote a book. More specifically here. Might help you out. David Flynn. And he speaks about a subject which not too many people grasp. Even the, the little bits and pieces. Most people aren't interested in, to say the very least. But the problem with this is he drags it through all things. And this is how it always works. You're going to either be told about flat earth propaganda or you're going to be told about globe theory propaganda. You know, the heliocentric horse shit. One of the two, you got to choose a side because our masters are polarizing people and most people are fucking fools. So they'll repeat one of those two paradigms. They will think within those narrow parameters. They're horse blinders. But most people haven't figured that out. So this guy will drag you towards, you know, all things, you know, quote unquote, space. And that fucking horse shit. If you watch this interview, well, let me see if it states the other jazz. Yeah, one out of eight, Temple of Time is the name of the book. Or the Temple at the Center of Time, pardon me. Um, and it's on what? Future Quake Archive. If you watch this jazz, roughly around this timestamp, He's waxing poetic about, for one, he drops a controlled opposition name. He drops Richard C. Hoagland, who works for the Disclosure Project. To this fucking day, he's not censored, and he's the asshole who will tell you to look for structures on the moon. Waste your fucking life looking for structures on the fucking moon. That's Richard C. Hoagland. Old school, controlled opposition. And people are still repeating that shit. But he mentions him and UFOs. And prior to this, the people who moderate this account, you know, the Future Quake Archive, they were praising him, the, they were praising the author of the book, David Flynn, for likening UFOs to biblical, you know, allegories, as well as the larger overarching concepts of the book in question. Which means, he drug it through the fucking mud, he's lying to people, whether he realizes it or not, and he's promoting propaganda. Effectively working as a controlled opposition asset. Again, whether he's getting paid for it or not, whether he realizes it or not, he's fucking people up. This is an old interview. The book came out a long time ago. You could look this jazz up. Um, and it's pretty well known in some circles. Again, especially the UFO shit and blah, blah, blah. This overarching concept that I'm referring to, however, is associated with another name that people are very familiar with. But most people don't realize that this individual, and I'm not going to tell you who, um, <laughs> he stomped a mud hole in the ass of this subject, so to speak. Um, he was the uh, foremost authority on it, by and large, in his time. And it doesn't come up. Because it's not propaganda. It's not nonsense. It's not... The flat earth, and it's not the globe theory. It's not misdirection. It's not a pack of fucking lies that our masters want you to repeat. So it's not circulated. It's not well-financed. Most of it, 
to be honest, was suppressed by and large. And another aspect of that character's life was brought to the forefront, and that's what people shop around and think they know. And that's superficial fucking shit. It's fluff. It's nonsense. It's noise. Either way, what the fuck do I know?